War is business. War is a very profitable business. Education Monday. Education Monday on the Tribal Root Studio with Alina Zahil. Changing mindsets in Africa. Making a world better. Together we can make a difference. We are fixing Africa. Education Monday. Education Monday. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back, beloved, to the other episode. This is another episode of the Tribal Roots Studio Education Monday. My name is Alina Zahir, speaking from Uganda at the Tribal Roots Studio headquarters in Ishaka. Bushenyi is Africa and Africa. Uh, today, we are going to speak about the business of war. And before I go ahead, please remember to subscribe to our channel and also remember to hit the bell button to make sure you get notified every time we upload new episodes. We also want to thank our Patreon family for supporting us. We have a Patreon account where you can go and uh, make your subscription. It's not so much, but you have to give $3. $3 would take us a long way if you are giving us that every month please make sure to be a part of the tribe roots a youth working solutions movement and remember that everything we are doing at the tribe roots uh, this uh, TV or this platform is meant to keep us awake to make sure it keeps our people waking up from the slumber that we all been in for a very very long time once again my name is Alina Sahir you can also follow me on uh, my own Facebook page, um, my YouTube, my Twitter. Uh, make sure you are up to date with uh, everything I do and also with the Tribe Roots uh, community. Uh, Tribe Roots organization is the organization that is gearing for a technology uh, approach where we are bringing technology back to Africa. Uh, we all know technology came from Africa and uh, we all know we are the the architects of civilization so we don't see any reason why we should be uh, keeping at the bottom when we are actually the architects of all that is good and that is happening in the world Tribal Roots Studio, Tribal Roots Africa is also uh, uh, spearheading uh, the health at service delivery, uh, the agriculture modernization, and also entrepreneurship and innovation. And if you can follow us uh, keenly, you will see that we really are change makers and we implore all the Africans worldwide to join uh, the change makers, reminding you that the change you've been waiting for, or the change makers you have been waiting for, is yourself. You are the one we have been waiting for and we would like you to stand tall, be strong and remember that we are Africans. So today I'm speaking about war. Uh, everyone knows war in Africa has been like, it's almost becoming normal uh, in the Congo, in, in Somalia, in Sudan, in Liberia, uh, in Sierra Leone. We have seen wars and the danger and the damage of war. We also have seen very many Africans immigrating, uh, dying on the seas, trying to escape uh, the dangerous situations of war. Uh, but uh, I don't think so many times we get to really learn and understand why the war never ends. And today I'm giving you the reasons why war in Africa never ends. Well, the enemy keeps the image, the enemy keeps the image of war, suffering and poverty about Africa because they want to keep their tentacles on Africa because that's how they survive and that's how they win. The makers or the manufacturers of weapons <laughs> cannot afford to lose the market, so the war must continue. Uh, the factories and industries manufacturing bullets must thrive. And this is the reason the war never stops. 
and you know uh, the mineral uh, the mineral industry mm. it must thrive so the war must go on so when they tell you they are coming here and they are they are coming to help Africa actually they are say they were saying they are coming to stop the war they are taking the minerals so the Africans must wake up and understand that war is business war is a very profitable business so the reason they will keep you divided and the reason they'll keep you fighting each other is because their businesses must thrive so when we say wake up we are saying uh, think outside the box don't look look at this problem at the surface don't look at it at the face value and think like my neighbor hates me People in the neighborhood hate us. We need to fight. This clan doesn't like the other clan. We need to fight. Before you engage in the fight, think about who is behind it. Think about who is fueling the fight. Who is fueling the, the tribalism? Who is fueling the, the racism? Who is fueling the drift? Why are people being constantly fed with tribalistic tendencies and messages that make them hate each other the reason that they do this is to keep you divided and believe me it's the reason is the same reason why they say divide and conquer because once you are divided you are so easy to conquer so from the tribal studio we are reminding you that as we move ahead and as we change the mindsets and as we said the war must end, we first of all must make the people understand that the war that is happening in Africa is not coming from us. Understanding that it is not coming from us, we all must stand up and say no more. And I'd like to give my shouts out, shouts out to the no more movement. Thank you for saying that. And we want to enforce that and say no more to fighting, no more to tribalism no more to conflict, no more to genocides. And we must say this all the time, no matter who you are, no matter what clan you are, no matter what tribe you are, every time, every time you see anything creeping, bringing you thoughts of fighting the person next to you for any reasons, just know that the force behind it is the enemy. And the enemy wants to keep you fighting with each other. And you should stand firm and say, no more fighting. We can't keep killing our brothers. We can't keep bickering. We can't keep thinking that people different from us. We are all Africans. Our problems and challenges are the same. We have the same ancestry. We come from the same background. At the same time, we are heading for the same future. It is up to us right now to shun war in conflict. So from the Tribal Studio, again, my name is Alina Zahir and I would like to thank you for being with us on this uh, Education Monday episode. Please remember we will be coming back next week, same time, same place. Subscribe and share this video to everyone that needs it. And let's keep peace building uh, up let's make sure we uphold the values of peace and making sure war has no place in our communities thank you for tuning in blessings peace and love